consider a cylindrical rod cylindrical rod fixed at fixed at the left end like this let l be the length of the rod and if you apply a force f towards right it it will extend the rod will extend to a small length delta l let delta l be the extension of the rod on application of this force f let a be the this a be the cross sectional area a is equal to area of cross section area of cross section then we have the initial force let's call that as fi initial force acting on the rod is zero since on at, at time is t at, let's take time t equal to zero there is no force acting on the rod and in order to make an extension of delta l we let's call that the final force acting on the rod is f and this force make it to an extension of delta l therefore the average force let's call that f average is equal to the initial force plus the final force divided by 2 it, it's actually the arithmetic mean of initial and final forces so 0 plus f divided by 2 or let's say f by 2 or that's equal to f by 2 then you know the work done work done by this force work done by this force is equal to average force you know work done is equal to force into displacement average force into displacement average force into displacement and we have average force as f by 2 and displacement is the extension of the rod that is equal to into delta l or half f into delta l is the work done so w is equal to you can write w equal to half f into delta l now multiply and divide let's write this as f into delta l multiply it with a term a l that is area into length and divide it with the same term a l there is no change because this a l and a l will, will get cancelled and it will become half f into delta l now let's consider this equation w so w is equal to 1 by 2 so you can write this as f by a f by a times delta l by l into a l right So work done W is equal to half into, but you know force by area is equal to stress. And change in length by original length equal to strain. And you know the cross-sectional area into length, cross-sectional area into length gives the volume of the rod. So volume. And you know this work is stored as work done to elongate a rod is stored as elastic potential energy. Elastic potential PE or elastic potential energy. We represent elastic potential energy as capital E. So it is equal to half into stress into strain into volume. So this is the expression for the elastic potential energy due to stretching of a rod and if you take the volume to the left side if you take that volume to the left side you will get u by volume u by volume is equal to half stress into strain and this term is called the elastic potential energy per unit volume or we can represent that as small letter u small letter u half into stress into strain we define this term as 
you as elastic potential energy per unit volume and elastic potential energy per unit volume is equal to half stress into strain clear